can you talk a little bit about that pointing and how, how do you react to town speculation and the way people talk and what people are saying? I think it's really sad. I said that. I said that yesterday. I think it's really, really sad. People aren't concentrating on Victoria. They're speculating on nothing. You know, it's just they're trying to find some kind of dirty, nitty gritty story where there isn't one. They're not paying attention to the fact that there's a child missing and nobody's even. No, but see, that's the thing. They are though. They. They might be saying all this stuff out on Facebook, whether it's good, bad, or anything, it's keeping the story going, and it, it's got to stay out there some way. If it's got to be negative stuff out on the internet, whatever, it's keeping it out there. We know Tori's not home. As long as people know that the story's still going, they know she's not home but too. Like I said last Thursday, like I want the focus to be brought back to Victoria. I'm tired of Sarah being harassed. I'm tired of all the speculations are making it back into the paper and creeping it back into the paper. It needs to be focused on Victoria, not anything else. That's the bottom line, you know, and it's getting frustrating because we just think that it's coming back to Victoria and everybody starts writing stories about Strictly Victoria and then all of a sudden it's back to speculations and Facebook and accusations and it's just ridiculous it gets very frustrating and I said I would continue to do these press conferences as long as it's keeping my daughter's name out there but I don't want to be coming out and doing them when I'm putting my friends in you know in, in the face not, not in the face of danger but I mean like she can't, Sarah can't even come over to visit me you know and she's been my strength through all of this and I think it's just disgusting you know like she should be able to come over here as freely and whenever she wants to stopping her though well there is there's cameras and there's you know well, what's, like, what's it's just the negativity <clears throat> that she's felt you know and she said like I had nothing to do with this all I've tried to do is to be a good friend to you and I've been slandered all over the papers so I understand where she's coming do you feel like the focus on your family and on your friends it will help bring Tori home at all no because I know that my friends would not do anything like this. I know that anybody in my family would not do something like this. How can you guarantee that though? You can't say I that. guess I can't guarantee can't. it, but you don't want to think for a second that anybody Because to me, in any one of these people family. standing right here could have our daughter and they're filming us just for the fun of it. Yeah, you do they, have trust issues with everybody. Extreme trust issues. Like, not so much, not at all for me with Sarah uh, whatsoever, but I mean, like, I have trust issues with certain family members and with certain people who I don't know I can trust all the way and it's sad because you think you know your friends and you think you know who you're surrounded by but obviously we don't.